Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the differences between the stock thermal paste and the ones you would usually get from the store. For this comparison I'll be using the most popular Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, of course. And, of course, the stock stuff that's on my AMD 6300's cooler. Both of these tests will be done with the same stock cooler that came with my FX6300, and both tests will be ran on the FX6300 CPU. And so, here it is. First, I need to get the baseline test of the stock cooler in stock condition with stock thermal paste on my 6300. Running a Prime95 torture test, it immediately jumped to 56C. Um, that's not that bad, but it's just the jump. After letting it run for half an hour, or 35 minutes around there, these were the results. Okay, not looking too bad, but not looking too good either. Let's change the paste on this cooler. Of course, cleaning the CPU first. After applying my Arctic Silver 5 and placing the cooler, these were the results. Yeah, you probably noticed they're exactly the same, that's how it came out. So the straight up answer for this video is no, but there's a long way of saying it. Um, yeah, it may get a few degrees lower with some kind of more expensive thermal paste, like maybe some icy diamond. or something more like that. I don't think there is any more top of the line than that, but if you're not the kind of person that pays more for IC Diamond because you really want good thermal paste, I don't think most people do that, and so you're probably not going to see the results. As you've seen, the Arctic Silver 5 had no difference in cooling between the stock. So anyways, you guys seen it. This is a very quick video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a dislike. I would really like to hear what you guys think about this in the comments section, and make sure you subscribe for more content like this one. And of course, not like this one. Bye.